it's one of the most wonderful openings of any opera ever written. Um, and those massive brass chords, I think, raise an expectation, even to a newcomer to Tosca, who's never seen Tosca before, that there's a certain grandeur that needs to be on stage. We certainly hope we're going to supply that. It's funny, you know, everyone has an expectation of what that Act One set, that church, that Basilica of Sant'Andrea del Valle should look like because so many people have been there <laughs> to see it. You've got a myriad of rooms to choose from in the Palazzo Farnese. Which one would you like Scarpia to have lived in if he had lived? And we went for the Sala Ercole, which many of the designers and directors had gone for, because we liked the, the scale of the Sala Ercole. I think our most accurate set is the Act Three set, where we're on the platform of the Castel Sant'Angelo. We are viewing the platform in what we feel is the most logical direction for Tosca to take that leap at the end. Every one of our sets has been put through the imagination of John McFarlane, who of course is a, in addition to being a wonderful theatre designer, is an incredibly talented painter in his own right. There's a romanticism, there's a painterly quality which is luscious, is romantic again, has grandeur, has depth has a powerful intrinsic emotion in what the audience visually see. Not in a cosmetic way, not in an empty way, in a way which we feel is intrinsic to just getting the character of this piece right in delivering this piece in this theatre the way that we think it has to be delivered. <laughs>